Good evening, Doctor. Could you tell me what your visit to Damascus is all about, please? Our main uh, task of our visit to Damascus is related to our work at the International Human Rights Commission based in Geneva and uh, to follow up all the uh, work we've been doing since the incidents and the problems that was created in uh, the Arab Republic of Syria from uh, starting from uh, March 15, 2011 until today and uh, we've been uh, we have met uh, some deputies some uh, officials and we've been follow we have been following all the uh, matters and all the uh, headlines that we are working on uh, we are also concerned about the parliamentary issue in Syria and also we are continuing to uh, focus on the new uh, parliament uh, rules and laws that might come out from the Geneva meeting. Uh, of course the Edlib issue is one of our main concerns and in this uh, sentence I would like to you know, to clarify that uh, what is being said on Idlib is being, I mean, uh, exaggerated, if you want. Uh, the numbers that was revealed in the uh, press on the exact uh, people who uh, who ran away from Idlib is not accurate. Okay. I mean, almost a million uh, person evacuated from Idlib. I don't know how they managed to, to control that because to evacuate uh, a million person is not something uh, that you can do in days. Uh, you need uh, convoys, you need uh, a lot of logical, uh, logistic uh, aspect to do that and we never saw this on uh, television whenever it was not even documented. We only heard titles on, in the news that uh, almost one million uh, refugees came out of uh, you know Idlib out of uh, uh, or because of this incident, recent incident, you know, in Idlib or the ongoing war in Idlib. Also, in this case, I would like to call the attention that what the Syrian army is doing, the Syrian army is doing their duty in Idlib. We shouldn't forget that Idlib is a Syrian uh, territory, it's not a Turkish territory. And this is what we are being confused in, or let me say, the Western society, you know, they are not aware of all the details in Syria. So they are being confused on the Idlib issue. Idlib is a Syrian territory, and the Syrian army has the right to, you know, pull out all the terrorist groups have the right to also move all the foreign army you know that are occupying the Syrian land especially in Idlib. The Turkish are invaders in Idlib. They are not this is not their land. They have no right to defend no one there. They just have to pull out okay and all they can do is that if they have their own people there they have to pull them out also because this was agreed upon, you know, at the Astana meeting that uh, Turkey should cooperate with the Russian army to remove all the groups, the terrorist groups from Idlib. And Turkey, you know, didn't stick to the agreement with the uh, Russians. This was also a problem to the, uh, to the uh, whole portfolio that we are working on in Idlib. Now, making use of or misleading the European, uh, uh, let me say, the European uh, approach in this matter, it's not good in the sense of, you know, human rights because there is a lot of lies in this uh, this matter. Idlib is being occupied by the terrorist group. There are few residents in Idlib. We know that, uh, and we are also following all these uh, aspects and details in it. This on the uh, in the Now your visit to Syria, where do you intend to go? What areas are you going to visit? The next uh, move will 
be in Suwaida. It's going to be a continue uh, visit of what we did uh, in the past. Uh, Suwaida is uh, witnessing a lot of uh, military uh, uh, movement from these, from some of the uh, terrorist factions that are working in Suwaida, you know, strongly, and they are being, you know, creating a lot of. Uh, security problems and this is uh, something that is not in the sake of the whole community there. In time we are also urging the government to you know take also responsibility and liabilities towards the society and to the people in the district of Suwaida. It's a two-way issue, it's not a one-way issue and we should also know that uh, the security in Suwaida it is the security of Damascus also, and vice versa. So people should not be left, should not also uh, leave the way or the territory to these factions that are messing in the uh, Swaida district. They are, being, they are kidnapping, they are killing, they are you know, violating a lot of human rights uh, issues. They are also uh, raping women, they are also you know, misleading uh, children that are taking them to a different aspect of their uh, sect's belief also if you want and this is not uh, something positive for the community now uh, ah. carry on no it's okay can carry on. Carry on, sir. So uh, we met, and we are gonna meet again with all the officials and religious leaders in Suwaida to see how we can put together uh, a strong vision uh, and implementation to secure more and more the district of Suwaida, and to see the means of cooperation between all the uh, political aspects and all the political parties and political leaders in Suwaida and how to infiltrate them again and again uh, in the society. And by the way, I mean, the Druze never, you know, uh, went out of their strategic belief, which is the uh, belonging to the Syrian uh, how can I say it? They are part of the societies in uh, Syria and they never went out of this. They were also under this uh, platform, if you want. And uh, they are also working on how to emphasize you know, our historical parts in this sentence. During, uh, since Sultan Bashar al Atrash, uh, Swaida is one of the main a district that supported the uh, central government in Damascus at the time. And what I heard that, uh, what I heard during our last visit, that uh, they will remain in this uh, backing of the central government and they will never withdraw from any part of the uh, society or of the government uh, organizations and they will take full responsibility and I hope they will continue to do that. Thank you very much, sir. It's been a riveting experience speaking to you. I've really enjoyed it and I wish you all the best on your stay. And if there's anything I can do for you, don't fail to contact me. I am sure that uh, we will cooperate together, everyone from his side, and we sure, we are, I'm sure that uh, such cooperation will lead to a good result. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Thank you very much.